Is that? Wow, that's what she was holding. Okay, this is very graphic. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Mary and today we are going to be watching Logan. But before we get into today's video guys, a quick word from our sponsor, Ren. Ren.co is a website that makes it super easy to calculate and offset your carbon footprint. By answering a few questions, you can find out what your carbon footprint is and how to reduce it. Climate change is pretty undeniable at this point. Here in Australia, we had six months of bushfires, then flooding and so reducing my carbon footprint Footprint in any way that I can help is really important to me. Currently, we're still going through mass flooding here in Australia, and it's so bad that the town of Lismore is practically the lost city of Atlanta at this point, and it's really, really sad. Once you sign up to make a monthly contribution, you receive monthly updates from projects that you support and you get to see what your money has been spent on, photos and details on the trees that are being planted because of you, every acre reforested, every ton of carbon offset. It's going to take a lot to change this climate crisis, but you can make a difference by learning more on Ren.co. The first 100 people to sign up with the link in the description bar below will have 10 extra trees planted in their name. So guys, as I said, today we are going to be watching Logan. I'm so excited for this one. You guys know I love the Wolverine and every time they do a movie just focusing on the Wolverine, I absolutely enjoy it to death. So this one, I haven't really researched. I haven't looked into it. I don't really know what to expect. I'm going into this somewhat blind, I guess you could say, but I've heard really amazing things about this film. Before we get started, I want to remind you guys that the uncut version is over on Patreon along with all of the X-Men movie reactions um that are in chronological order up until this very point and you can also subscribe if you want to see more content like this from me as well i'm so ready for this film guys so without further ado let's get watching he's in there whoa he's got white hair silver fox what silver wolverine Jesus, this is very violent. Oh, he's mad, mad. Oh, I didn't, I didn't think I've heard Logan say motherfucker before. Holy crap! He's going crazy! <gasps> His skulls! It's, oh. This is some, like, horror movie shit. It's like an axe murderer at this point. Oh god. <laughs> I'm in trouble. You're the only one that could help. Get the fuck away from me. Damn. The years have not been kind to him. He has changed. I don't know why he's like this, but I don't like this new Logan. Whoa. It's a Tuscan Raider. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> Looked freaky though. Hmm. Charles? He looks very different. And also, isn't he dead? He's far frailer, which makes sense. You're the man who puts me to sleep. You both could use some sleep. No! Oh my gosh. Oh lord. This is very intense. Charles. <gasps> it is Charles, but he has his hair back. Whoa, whoa, oh my god, he is gone senile and he can't control his powers anymore. Oh god. So, they're both taking care of Charles in 2029. Mm, so sad. Fuck off, Logan. <laughs> understand. There's been a new one born in 25 years. Not anywhere. 25 you years? Born. You were an uh, animal. But we took you in. I gave you a family. They're gone now. What? God, this is a bleak future. What did you do? Answer me! 
Why are we here? No one should uh. have like this drugged in a fucking tank. For your own good. No, no. It's not. Oh, that just, that's just so heartbreaking. It, for me to die. it just reminds me of my grandfather. And I'm sure a lot of people can relate to, I mean, if you've had a grandparent that, you know, doesn't want to be where they are, like in a nursing home. It's just, it's so heartbreaking to watch. Found this in your pocket. Adamantium. If you are planning to blow your brains out, could you wait till you're out on the high seas? I just mop these floors. <laughs> oh my god. Man, the future really, really is bleak. Something's happening to you, Logan. On the inside, you're sick. I can smell it. I mean, all of his friends are dead. And they and he just keeps outliving everyone. It's pretty depressing. <laughs> oh my. Wow. The X Men. <laughs> what is going on? Patrick Stewart, Logan, both swearing their asses off. Titties. Who is that little girl? Like, she keeps showing up. Oh, wait, wait, please. Here, here. Please, wait, look. Look. Here. Take this. Sheesh, lady. That's your daughter? Is it? She seemed to hesitate. Oh god. Have they been compromised already? <gasps> Don't tell me. Oh god, no. She looks like she's been dead for a while though. What happened to the girl? I guess they just took her. Oh no. Oh. Oh, that poor lady. Oh god. What happened? Did something go wrong? Oh, it's the al it's the albino. That's why he's covered up. You know, Logan's still got 20 grand, so Ooh. He's a very scary looking dude. No offense, I'm sorry. That's probably really rude to say. But his eyes and the outfit is just freaking me out right now. Where you keep the old man? Hmm? Oh, come for Charles? I need the girl. What girl? One that goes along with that ball you're holding. There's no girl here. So he didn't kill her? Whoa. You're not the only one that's been enhanced. <laughs> oh! Was that the girl? <gasps> oh my! It was the girl! <gasps> he knows her! This is who I've been telling you about. Oh, the young mutant. <laughs> He's still trying to help young mutants, even in his condition. <laughs> He's so sweet. <laughs> so, it's, he's going to wake up. Uh, he's not going to be happy. Oh, God. This is making me nervous. I feel like he's gonna wake up mid trip. Oh, 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 I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. Now, beauty. Oh, Lord. No, not him. We must forget about Laura. It's not our problem. She's gonna do something that's gonna amaze you right now, I bet. Charles Xavier, where's Caliban? <laughs> America's most wanted octogenarian. I'm a nonagenarian, actually. <laughs> where's Caliban? Mm. I think. Oh! Oh! Poor Caliban. Oh, God. She knows they're coming. She's just sitting. She's chilling. Even though she knows they're coming. I feel like she is going to surprise everyone very soon. Is the joint going to explode or something? Oh. <laughs> uh, more men, I guess. Um. She will 
popped out without a scratch. Is that? <gasps> oh! Wow! That's what she was holding! Okay! This is very graphic! Oh god. Oh! <gasps> Look at that! She's got the same claws as Wolverine! Maybe... Maybe... Oh god. Wow. She's a little Wolverine girl. That's why she was so strong. <laughs> Duh. Finally, someone that said that. Every time they like start shooting at the Wolverine, I'm like, there's no fucking point. He self heals. But yeah, he. that little girl is just like the Wolverine. I wonder if... Could it be Logan's daughter or something? Oh. oh, she's a savage, man. Classic. Bougie. Ratchet. Sassy. Moody. Nasty. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. Oh, that's the other Wolverine. <laughs> Wolverine's got to stick together. Oh, on her foot too? Okay, that's better than the Wolverine himself. Charles was very, very right about Laura. <laughs> and when he said she's a mutant like you, he literally meant like you. <laughs> hey, I asked you a question. Who are you? I know who she is, Robin. No, I don't. Does she remind you of anybody? Oh my god, it is his daughter. This is weird. This is... When? Who? Oh, at least Caliban's still alive. I'm not helping you. Of course you'd say that. But I gotta oh hear that. People don't really change. I feel like he's gonna torture him to help him. To make him help him. <gasps> Oh no. Oh no! No! Oh god, his skin is burning! They were born here and have never left. They have never seen the sun. They're like caged animals. Oh, and there's that little girl. They were raised in the bellies of Mexican girls. Girls no one can find anymore. Oh. Media. Oh god, did they take his semen and use it to make her? These are babies of mutantes. What? Somebody charge that phone up. I want to watch the rest. <laughs> god. Alkali has your genetic code. Not just mine. Logan. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to hear about it anymore. Logan. So I'm Stop. sure a lot of. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of the mutants that we know probably are mothers and fathers to these mutant kids as well, maybe. Akali has his genetic code. Who else's does he have? Inside this building, they are working on something new. Something they say is without a soul. X24. Soulless? Man, I don't know. Like, this reminds me of Orphan Black, but also The Expanse as well. Putting the children to sleep. To sleep? Wow, these nurses are amazing. They risk their... Oh, they risk their lives for these kids. You may not love her, but she is your child. Wow. No wonder. She went to him. She's like, you're the only one that can help us. Yeah, who, who will get it? He's the only one that gets it. Hey, keep it out front, right? Sure. <laughs> He's like, um, what the hell happened to this limousine? Adamantium implant sites Alpha Delta, 132 months female mutant, X2323. The way they just number them. Well, the adamantium that Logan 
went through the procedure. It was a procedure. You're not born with that. So they obviously did the same thing to her. He didn't take the pill? Oh, wait, what was that? Eden or the end? I wonder what place they're talking about because Charles's school is obviously not around anymore. And Eden is supposedly up north. Okay, well that's the location. So she thinks Eden exists based on a comic book she read. Is that what I'm understanding? Oh no. Charles. Oh my god, so many people are gonna end up dying. Especially because like... Yeah, these dudes are human. Look at the way it's impacting Logan. Oh, he better get to him really quickly. Oh. What the hell? This is making me very uneasy. <gasps> oh. Oh. Little girl, your help would be greatly appreciated. Wow. <gasps> that was a very long seizure. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> that was really sweet. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. Oh, poor Charles. Charles, it wasn't your fault. Where at least 400 guests were stricken with temporary paralysis yesterday. 400. Seven mutants! He kill he ended up killing seven mutants by accident. That's wild. Oh, oh horses. Someone has come along. This is like a Red Dead Redemption mission. Horses run away and you have to get them back to someone to um, get your honor points up. <laughs> this is so, like, cozy and homely. Thank I love it. God for this food and for our new friends, the Howlets. Mm -hmm. They came to our mm -hmm. Amen. 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 This is the southern hospitality that I've been hearing about in America. Well, there's plenty more if she wants. She's fine. Thank you. This is delicious. God. Thank you. <laughs> it's, this is a perfect now, Why would you want to do that? Hey, um, careful, you're speaking to a uh, man who ran a school for a lot of years, right, Charles? A lot of years. Uh, it was a kind of special needs school. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, that's a good description. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, um, I got kicked out a few times. I wish I could say you were a good pupil, but the words would choke me. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was great, but uh, we have a long drive ahead of us. But you so. need to rest, don't you? I feel like these people will die. She's witnessing compassion and kindness. She can be a bit creepy sometimes, huh? Is she going to talk for once? Do you want to listen? <laughs> He's nice. Just a guy telling you to get back in your nice truck. Go play Oki Dickhead somewhere else. He's Joel and Laura is Ellie. I'm gonna count to three. And you're gonna start walking away. I got rice to this one. One. I have a lawyer now. Two. Oh my god. Three. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. Go! Damn. That was very attractive. <laughs> um, someone behind him. I don't wake her yet. Oh, it's... You know, Logan, this was 
without a doubt, the most perfect night I've had in a very long time. Oh, Charles. He's inside a home with a family. I don't deserve it. Oh. Do I? Mm. Charles, you didn't mean to kill those mutants. Something unspeakable. I remember what happened in Christmas. Isn't it just heartbreaking when old people cry? I finally understand you. What? Uh, who's that? <gasps> what? What? <laughs> Who the hell is that? That? No, don't, don't hurt him. Oh my god, kid. Oh god, he's gonna die too. Charles was just talking about the most perfect night he's ever had. I should have I should have realized that was going to be his last night. Oh. So brutal. This is just like that nice old couple in the barn that died when Logan stayed with them. I knew something bad was going to happen to this family. How weird is that? How do they how did they they cloned him they cloned him oh my god charles is dead for the second time oh. imagine if if charles thought that logan killed him oh asshole listen Oh, all oh, these bad guys are about to die. They have no idea what this is about. Yeah. Oh, God. Ah! He just solved that problem. He... He is not going to survive. He got stabbed, like, really deeply. The sun seeker, this wow, that was his last word. See, this is the second time I've cried for Charles Xavier. Oh my god, is he suicide Do bombing the place? <gasps> he is! Oh! Oh, he just killed himself! And he didn't kill. He didn't kill that other dude. That was kind of pointless. Oh! Hoo -hoo. Logan versus clone Logan. And Logan's going crazy on him. Oh! I don't like the future. It just keeps getting shitter and shitter for mutants. Ah! Wow! Uh, this is awkward. No, don't, no, not, not Logan. Well, the only thing Will can think of right now is that his whole family's dead and everything bad happened when Logan came around. And also the other guy he just killed looks like Logan. <laughs> Putting it down. Oh no, he died too. Oh God. Now they are truly alone. No Charles, just Logan and his daughter. And everybody's out to get him. Hmm. Oh. Ooh. Man, this poor girl has seen a lot of devastating things. It's a heavy film, guys. And in the end, this random spot here is where they're gonna bury Charles Xavier. It's a nice spot. I just, I wonder where it is. Oh god. Now he's actually dead. Mm. 
Oh, poor, poor, sweet Logan. Where is he Welcome now? Back. Oh, great. I'm starting to think I was going to have to tell that nice little girl out in the waiting room her daddy's gone. Oh, I almost thought it was the doctor, doctor that got him. I'd always hoped that I'd get the chance to meet someone. That Another weird doctor, maybe? <laughs> And change the fact that something inside you is poisoning you. You've got to check yourself into a hospital. Find out what, what is, is inside him that's poisoning him. Please he knows the adamantium poisoning him <laughs> like over time. Does that mean shh, his daughter is gonna have the same? He's healing a lot slower. He can't remove the adamantium either. I don't think I don't know what the cure would be. Yeah, nada. She talks. You can talk. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's all this bullshit been for the last two thousand fucking miles? What? Oh, okay, shut up! Shut up! Shut the fuck up! <gasps> Who's that? Who is that? Who is that? All of her friends, maybe. <laughs> Take her to North Dakota. <laughs> This all here, none of this, no, no existo, okay? You understand me? This no existo. Does not exist, no, no. It's a fantasy, okay? See that? This poor, poor girl. You understand? I am not taking you to North Dakota. Just take her. What do you have to lose? Oh, my God. That's true. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus. Maybe he's afraid that he'll just like die on the road on the way to North Dakota. And then what happens? Save tissue from this one. He's got track and had a high IQ. Wow. Mm. Poor, poor Caliban. Let me drive. Let me drive? Really? I don't know about that kid. You're talented, but you're not that talented. You want to die. He has lived a very long life. What else do you tell him? Do not let you. Oh. <laughs> Charles. Uh, good old Charles. Gotta love him. It's weird, like, I know they share the same gifts, but it just doesn't give me father daughter vibes like he's still so brutal towards her and obviously she doesn't speak much um so it has been quite hard to communicate and quite frustrating too because he's quite suicidal as well he doesn't even want to be around not even for his da estranged daughter and wow she's driving <laughs> Oh, seems to have healed a little bit. Come on. You can't tell me that Logan's been living in the US. Well, for I don't know how long, but he never picked up Spanish. I find that a little bit strange. <laughs> is she like, is she carrying him right now? Wow. Okay, so she has help. Richter! Wow, they're here. These are all her friends? <gasps> the kids! But who's taking care of the kids? Are they taking care of themselves? Oh, the kids... I think the kids are taking care of themselves and each other. The only thing that can kill him. That's why it can kill us. Probably what's killing me now. It's in his body. It's foreign. No, I keep it to. Uh... Actually, I. Uh... I was thinking of shooting myself with it. Oh wow, that's a lot to offload on a little girl. Hey, I'm your dad, and I want to kill myself. 
Let me take that off you, Dad. You won't be killing yourself today. Hmm? They're grooming him. Oh, yuck. They're not grooming him. They're making him look ugly. They pranked you. We're going across the border. It's a safe haven. Safe haven. Oh, wow. That's why it's a specific time. Because the satellites are literally not going to be able to spot them. It's very smart that they figured that out. Hey, I got you here. That's all I signed up for. Even gave back the money. Such a nice man. Hey, <laughs> I never asked for this. Love the sarcasm. All right, Charles never asked for this. Caliban never asked for this. And they are six feet under the ground. You got you, Rebecca, you Delilah, <laughs> you blah, 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 whatever. <laughs> and it is better this way. Because I suck at this. Mm. Shit happens to people I care about. You understand me? Mm. That's what it seems like. Oh, because, because she thinks that he doesn't care about her. Not all at once, Richter. So they, have, they really did leave, and now he's just by himself. It's a bit depressing. Drones. That's not good. Oh, God. Oh, he needs to go. He needs to go help them. Get in your car. Help those kids. Oh, he's taking the whole thing now. He wants to be an animal for this. God, I hate that doctor so much. Oh no. Oh, he's trying. He's still coughing. Yep, time to take it. Oh god, the whole thing. There we go. Oh no. Yes! Daddy's here to protect you! Oh, what? They shot him! Yes! Father and daughter kill! He <laughs> yes! Well... They never learn. Guns don't work on him. <laughs> I love it. She's like a little beast. Wow. Look at that duo. Look what they can do together. <laughs> yes, little girl. Zander Rice. Zander. Of course, his name is Zander. Random mutancy went the way of polio. You embarked on our next endeavor. Growing mutants of your own. Precisely. James, you can't. Oh, yeah! <laughs> he didn't wait for them to finish their sentence. <laughs> Killed the Rice family. <laughs> Oh god, I hate Clone Logan. Oh, he's so annoying. Use the adamantium bullet on this clone. He killed your dad. Clone Logan's dad is dead. And Clone Logan needs an adamantium bullet. Imagine being Laura's parents, the actress, and having to sign off on her doing all this messed up shit as well. Like, holy crap. Wow. Oh, yes. Ooh. I am so living for this moment. Crush him? 
crush him? Wow. That'll stop him for a little while, sure. Go, go, go! Go! Oh god. He needs the bullet. Oh kids. Ooh. He ain't go so far as this. Kill Kill Clone Logan, please, for the love of God. That's that's her uncle, I think. Technically. Ooh, ooh. Cheers. Cheers for that. I don't know. I don't know if Logan's gonna survive this though, guys. Oh. Oh, this little girl. She's only just met her dad. I think this is it for Logan. Oh, stop it. This is what it feels like to die before somebody that you love. <laughs> is that what he means? Because he's had a very depressing life. Daddy, stop. Stop it. Stop. It's just because you just never think you're going to see this moment because Logan's always been so indestructible it's like all of the mutants that we know they're dead every single one this is the new generation guys i'm so sorry little girl logan lived a very long life but because he's lived a very long life you just you just don't expect his death. Oh, X. X instead of the cross. That is very fitting. The longest living X man, maybe, in history. Guys, I am on the IMDb for Logan right now. Because obviously I've finished the movie and I don't have to worry about any spoilers or anything like that. And I just realized this film is rated R, which explains uh, the nudity, all of the swearing. I'm pretty sure I've never heard Logan or Charles Xavier swear before up until this very point. So it was unrated and it was crazy and it felt like a slasher horror film at some points. It was so gory. It was so intense and it was super depressing. I felt really drained. After I was done with this film, I felt really, really sad because everybody dies, <laughs> except for the children. Thank God the children didn't die because that would have just made me cry myself to sleep. The only question I have is, did the children make it to Eden? Because the whole film was about these kids going to this place called Eden based on a comic book. And I really want to know if the place is actually real because what happens if these kids go to this supposed place and then there's actually nothing there because it was based on a comic book? What happens? Seriously, they're just kids. Yes, they're very gifted kids, but they're still kids at the end of the day. I wish we got some clarity or some closure with that. That's the only question I had in the film. Everything else about the film was absolutely amazing. And I think now I want to say this, this has been my favorite X-Men film so far. The only thing was there wasn't enough of the characters that I have grown to know and love. The only people that I recognized was Logan and Professor Charles Xavier. And it felt more like a dystopian slasher horror fiction rather than an actual super superhero story but it was to an extent of course because that's what the franchise is all about and Logan's arc as well proved that this film was a superhero film because he played the anti-hero in this film even though we've known him to be the hero he did play the anti-hero in this film he's very worn out he's lost so much he's lived so long he's so over it he's at a point where he just wants to die I'll get to that 
again in one second. But at the very end, he chooses to save these kids, even though he did his job, as he mentioned. He took Laura to the spot that he was meant to take her or that he had told her that he would take her. And as far as anybody else was concerned, that was it. He didn't have to choose to save them and he didn't have to inject himself with that medicine and drain himself out so quickly like that. But he did because Logan is underlyingly the superhero. He is the good guy. No matter what happens to him, he always prevails. And our trust in him and that character is why he's so loved and why he's such a popular, well, I would say he's the most popular X-Men character in the franchise. A lot of films are based solely around him. So I feel like it tells a story of a lot of X-Men, obviously, a lot of mutants. Um, it is the story of these mutants. But I feel like he's definitely the main character. And it would have been a real shame if um, he let the depression get to him and sometimes that's the reality of life the depression can get to you but I'm glad it didn't get to him uh, his clone x24 ended up being the one that killed him so maybe in a way he did kill himself <laughs> but yeah back to his death I felt a little bit torn about it because on the one hand he's lived such a long life I feel like he's the one mutant that has lived through so much um, and has been through so much that I, I kind of felt like I was a bit happy, for, like a part of me was happy for him. I'm not going to lie. Like I, I was crying tears of pain, but also a little bit of joy because he has suffered so much. And when he said to his daughter, so this is how it feels like, I immediately got the sense he was talking about uh, how it feels like to be the one to die before somebody else that you love and care for dies because that's all he's ever experienced in his life and that's really really sad he got to the point where he was drinking himself to sleep he was drink driving he does self-heal so there's another question about whether he was actually drink driving but yeah i never thought i would mourn for logan throughout this whole experience i thought logan would be the one thing that would stay consistent and that would survive and i never expected for him to die so it was a real shock to the system i've obviously grieved for charles before when gene had killed him but then in x-men days of future past i think that was the title of the film um they all went back into the past and they changed a specific event from happening and therefore changing the future which meant that charles is obviously back so you know yay charles is back um but if i look at the two deaths that Charles did have, I would say the first death was probably quicker, less painful. The second death, he was probably in a lot of pain because he didn't die immediately. And for maybe like a minute or two, he probably thought that Logan killed him, but it was actually X-24, Logan's clone. So yeah, it that was really, really depressing. I really love the film, but I'm really, really depressed after seeing that. And I would probably watch this film again uh, just because I enjoyed it so much but probably not for a while because as I said I feel drained I feel like the life was sucked out of me in a way I really want to know what happens to these child mutants I hope they have a film which explains what happens to these kids because I would like some closure on whether Eden exists and if they made it out safely and if they're okay I also really want to talk about Daphne Keen because this was the first film that she was introduced to the world by and she did a really amazing job she was incredible like I just felt her turmoil coming out through her acting and she also spoke Spanish as well and English and she went through a lot as this child actress I remember asking myself like imagine being the parent of that child and signing off on all the crazy stuff that she had to do um, as Laura because that's a lot for a child but she did an amazing job and all of the kids did an amazing job great acting great writing great
great pacing. I was never bored for even like a second. I was never like looking at the time and being like, okay, when is this film finishing? I just enjoyed every aspect of it. And I want to know what you guys thought of this film. Is this your favorite X-Men film? Let me know in the comment section below and do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it because it really helps my channel out. You can find the uncut version over on Patreon. Link is in the description bar below. I watched it over on Disney Plus. So you just need a copy of the film yourself so that you can watch along with me and you can also subscribe for more content like this. Thank you so much everybody for watching this amazing film with me. Until next time, take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.